Now, what if we want to be able to reuse this basic simple material in more than one spot, but we want the second iteration of the material to be a slightly different color, or maybe uh, have a slightly different bump pattern on the surface, or um, suppose we just want to be able to very quickly make ch changes to the material. The way that we could do that is by creating material instances. And so if we right click on simple material and then go to create material instance, then this gives us a, um, uh, a sort of a child material that is based on the original. And let's go ahead and make a second instance too. So I'll go back and right click again on simple material, create material instance. And um, now we have to go back into the material editor and make a couple changes to be able to um, modify the parameters like we want to. So uh, let's, under the three vector node here that is setting the base color, let's right click on it and go to convert to parameter. And we'll just call this color. Let's right click on the roughness uh, constant and change this to convert to parameter. And we'll call this roughness. Then let's go to the texture sample where we have the normal. <clears throat> let's right click on it and go to convert to parameter. And we'll call this normal map. And then let's go down to the constant that is setting the tiling for the object. And we'll uh, right click, uh, convert to parameter, and we'll call this normal tiling. Okay. And let's save this. And then let's go back to our uh, motion controller map main window and let's drag these instances onto these two objects and we'll see that nothing has changed yet because we haven't made any uh, alterations to the parameters uh, but if I open this window up and we change the uh, color let's make it red pink okay uh, you see that we can set the roughness to be different let's set this down we could set the normal tiling to be different. And we can even change the normal map if we'd like to. <clears throat> Let's search for another, another normal map. We can search for underscore n. Will that bring up all the normals? Uh, grid n. Let's see what that does. Okay, it gives you an idea of what we can do. I'll save this and close it. And um, Let's open up the second material instance. Something that is worth noting here is just how fast it is to change things once you've set up the material instance. Search for another normal map. Make this bricks. So that gives you a sense of what can be done with the material instances.